Hello and welcome to another Let's Play. E. Yeah, move six of Komu Webby. On the last Let's Play, we did Dante's Midnight and Heart to Heart, which consisted of him giving me a signed first edition of his book. Which he it means a lot to him because it's like an extension of himself. And also the person in the book is kind of like me except they do die foreshadowing and also he told me about his vision where he's around with his family and they're all happy together and he has a brother yeah and we accepted that we'll go on a date with him i like dante's thing it's all nice and wholesome he i need more wholesome husband does i mean i like press against the wall hard smooching but I also like just, you know, cuddling, which is one thing I do not like about... I mean, not that I don't like, but I kind of wish a person that I know around here would do, which is... They call me for a certain thing, but they don't... You, They're not a cuddler person, you know? And it's sad. Yeah, but that's life. So, anyways... With that out of the way, that kind of paranoia... Uh, yeah. Let's continue the Let's Play. Me and Dante return to the kitchen, seeing Taylor, and Isaac, Taylor, Isaac, Clace, and Chiron. They're all standing by the exit to the backyard, engaging in conversation. Good place this isn't a place that has a ton of mosquitoes, so you have to, like, keep the doors closed all the time. Though also, it's December, and Toronto, Toronto's Canada, where the, the snow? Where's everybody's, like, cold weather clothes? I can tell they're debating something. It's a friendly argument. There's no way you can pull that off. At least not without raising suspicion. Oh, so let me just reset my face just in case. Boop. Yeah, I'm with Taylor on that one. Hey, I think Isaac can do anything he puts his mind to. It seems like nothing compared to getting me in the system. Yeah, I feel like we're gonna get hurt. Maybe. Dante, Delta, come over here real quick. Gotta show you my latest innovation. Oh, you gotta stop innovating, Isaac. Especially when Argus could be watching us. Oh, we're fine. Give me your phone for a sec. No. Dante. <laughs> All right, fine. Oh, I have to remember to remind myself about that one image. Dante hands Isaac his phone. He holds it up to the scanner on the back door, and I hear the standard chime. Enjoy your trip, Dante. You may leave the house 5,126 more times today. <sighs> Remember, a good score makes a good citizen. I've been saving up. Yeah, because I do all the shopping. So wait, that what that wasn't him changing a thing? But and we love you for it. Wait, you said today or in general? Isaac can down say back his phone. It's also why I wanted to use you as an example. I knew you'd have enough excursion credits to spare. Okay. Fair enough. So it it's not per day, it's per like month or something or year? That didn't prove anything, Isaac. I'm getting there. I'm getting there. He faces me and Dante and starts to explain. I've always hated the whole credit system. So I made a mod that lets you leave without spending any. Okay, now I'm with Taylor. There's no way you could pull that off. I'm a prodigy, remember? You gotta stop saying that. Humility is a pretty good trait to have. Yeah. Well, let me prove it then. He closes the backyard door to reset the switch. So wait, the backyard... How do you... Does that include going out to the backyard just for the backyard part? Holds the thing up against the scanner, the door unlocks, and opens with no message at all. Why should I have to use a credit to go into my own backyard? It was a stupid rule anyway. This just makes things easier. 
Is this the surprise you wanted to show us? It is kind of weird. They, he, is everybody just out of there on the backyard or what? Also, do you have to do credits for getting out of other people's backyards? Maybe. Maybe not. He smirks at us, dodging the question on purpose. So, does it only work on this door, or...? Theoretically, I could tune it to any lock. Kind of like how I could put an identity on any phone. So you could unlock any door? If I wanted to, I guess. But I never use this stuff for evil. You probably should have it, just in case. I find flaws in the system like this all the time. Just little things that people could take advantage of. And what do you do with them? Usually report them to Argus. Can't patch a hole if you don't see it, after all. And are you going to report this one? Nope. It's a mystery. <laughs> Besides, Argus actually has a team of hackers. People who break the system all the time, then fix it. So you're saying you're better than Argus's hacking team? I don't know. Humility is an important trait to have, remember? Hmm. <laughs> Should we, uh, go outside then? Yeah, I could use some fresh air. Oh, it's almost fourth of midnight, too. Got about 30 more minutes. Ready to share your resolutions? Not really, but I'll manage. It's a gradual one instead of a stark black one. I wonder why that is. <clears throat> we stand together in the backyard, each sipping our new next drink. I hadn't really had time to think about what my re resolution would be. Honestly, I'm able to read. Honestly, I just wish that everything ended up having a happy ending. I just, yeah, sorry, I have been reading a lot actually. I've been feeling all right. I just wish that everything ended up having a happy ending. Everything ended up. That might be good enough. Play my part in making sure everything goes well. It has a nice ring to it too. Puts my mind at ease. It's odd how my mind feels more at ease when I show resolve. Or at least dedication to the cause we are currently fighting toward. Maybe I should just keep going with the flow, like I said. It's not like a river to just change directions. A stream always leads to one place in particular. I should just follow the path forward to January 5th. Because if I start to show doubt, fear, or hesitation... No. Everything will be fine. Well, who wants to go first? I have a pretty good one, actually. Go for it. I want to change up my formula, do new stuff. I'm not losing viewers, but it's always the same content. Maybe some more guests or more stuff out in the city. Perfect. Change. The heart of any good resolution. Mine's actually about change, too, but uh, not for myself. How is that a resolution, then? It's supposed to be a personal goal. Is it like changing Argus? Well, it's more like a change that I cause. I want to keep contributing to the world in a positive way. It's a bit abstract, but I know I can pull it off. I'll accept it. Yeah, that's a pretty good one. I believe in you, Isaac. I know you can do it. Thanks. Who wants to go next? I want to see everything the city has to offer. Fill every day with a brand new experience. And I'm open to suggestions. Perhaps even partners too. No fun in going it alone. Ooh, ooh. Also, I was about to be like, I should go out and go to a restaurant and eat there. Some place I've never been. It was like, right, COVID. Ooh, loving these so far. Delta? Clays? Hmm. Hmm. I want to try and visit all of you. After this hiatus, I'm going to be really busy. But I'd feel awful if we never hung out again. Hmm. So I think that's my resolution. To keep in touch and come visit. Might make work less stressful too. We'd be happy to have you back. If we can pull all these off, the new year will be amazing. <laughs> and I'm glad we get to ring it all in together. But I think that leaves one more person. 
Right. Delta, what will you accomplish? Turning you all into Aryas. Beep boo boo ba boo boo ba. He puts his. When he puts it like that, I have no idea what to say. I stopped to think about it for a moment. Let's see. We're in 2041. I already gave my life a new start. So right now, 2042 seems like a blank slate. That's about... Oh, that's about 19 years in the future? Just what will I etch into that slate? Is this going to be where it forced me to pick one thing? I want to get close to each and every one of you. I want to do my best to ensure a happy ending for all of us. If Hermes wins, I want to help the Zeros. And show them the city. I wouldn't be less scared to say what I feel and to do what I want. Hmm. At first, I was like, that one seems pretty good. We can do that easily enough. This one, it's like, is this game-wise, or is this... I mean, that would be the good one, right? Can we see this in public around... other people? Hmm. How many saves do we get? Answers quite a few. Hmm. You put this one all the way at the top. My nose is bleeding. Uh, what happens if we say that? Hopefully that's not too difficult. Don't want to put a lot of pressure on you. Better be careful. Isaac might make you swear him a promise. Okay, but what happens if we do the other one? Well then, we've got off to a pretty good start. Giving everyone a warm welcome like Chiron sounds good to me. I mean, uh, the fr the second one's pretty meta, but let's just say that one where it's like, hey. I mean, also I guess resolution for the main character would be to find a job, but still. I think Delta would be the first in a long line of people. If Hermes wins, I see a lot of charity going around. I mean, that would be a good thing to do, you know? Good. I think that's just what we need. To help each other out, instead of staying divided. He smiles. I'm surprised the game doesn't be like, er, my resolution is to join uh, Argus to turn you all in. Well, that makes all of us. Do you do this every year or something? Nope. This is our first quantum leap. And the first time we've shared our resolutions. Do you want to make it a thing? Yeah, let's make it a thing. We got about 20 minutes left. Kind of wish we did more than four midnights. Already? I actually want to chat with Delta for a bit. Uh, how about we all regroup here for midnight? I can even show you the surprise I talked about. Works for me. But first, a toast. Taylor holds up his drink. To what? We all look at each other, unsure. Wait, I got the perfect one. We all hold up our drinks. Here's to getting wasted with the people that matter. Mm-hmm. Wow, that's a good one. He said that at the beginning, didn't he? And it'll never get old. Oh, he's referencing that. We all sip our drinks in unison. Come on, Delta. Let's go. We're losing precious minutes here. I was think I was like, wait, did I see this on like a small clip that was posted? It's like, oh, maybe said in the beginning. I nod and start to follow Isaac. It looked like the big moment was here. Huh. I think we might just continue going. Isaac takes me to his room and lets out a deep sigh. Fourth midnight, huh? I'm sure I have some tough acts to follow. 
We're all in this together, Isaac. Granted, it's gonna be a little loose back there, man. I saved the best for last on purpose. Me? The best? How much have you had to drink? I've only had as many... Ma J the rabbit guy, he makes the best drink you have to try some. But, you know, Isaac is my top favorite. Like, if I could marry Kill, uh, it would be marry him, fuck, um... Oh, uh... Chiron. Don't plan on killing anyone. He laughs and looks at his jacket. I need to clean up a bit before the big moment. Someone bumped into me and made a bit of a mess. He takes off his leather jacket, and I'm actually kind of shocked. I've never seen him do that before, and I've been here for a couple of weeks. I guess people get a bit sloppy on New Year's Eve, though. But I'm the guy who hosted the party, so comes with the territory. Hey, you got muscles on you, I think. He rests it flat on the bed and starts to clean off a small stain. That jacket was definitely important to him, wasn't it? He had to put the party on pause to clean it up. It was pretty baggy, so I didn't know what he looked like underneath. Gotta say though, I didn't expect him to look quite so strong. His arms flex as he scrubs off the jacket. There we go. Much better. Good thing it was a small stain. I think you look better without it, actually. Well, then, consider yourself lucky. I don't really like to take this off in front of people. Mm. Did I tell you that this belonged to my dad? Or did I just say it was something special? Someone special. You're filling their, you're filling their footsteps. Oh, wow. Uh, I gotta back up quite a bit then. Um, like I said, it used to belong to my dad. He worked for Argus, and was pretty high up there, too. So, I grew up around the system and all sorts of technology. It was second nature to me by the time I had my vision. I almost knew more about the tech than how to communicate. I'd always be tinkering with one thing or another. It, it got so bad that he had to install additional security to stop me. But, like you could probably guess, I cracked that, too. There wasn't anything I couldn't figure out. I hope that makes you understand me a bit better. Mm. Dante grew up in a library and became a writer. I grew up around Argus Tech, and here I am now. Everyone teases me, though, and downplays my ability. It's kind of annoying, if I'm perfectly honest. I recognize every bit of your skill, Isaac. I'm just jealous of how awesome you are. <laughs> Uh, I mean, teases, that's your friends doing friend stuff. Uh, but the other part, it's like, eh, maybe not downplay, but, uh, I mean, you're doing stuff with tech that could get us in trouble. Probably has. Glad to know I'm not the only one who thinks so. You usually only criticize others so you can feel high and mighty. Yeah. Anyway, we're getting a bit off track. Obviously, you know, my dad's not around anymore. Hmm. Yeah, kind of figured. Maybe things make a bit more sense now. Why I'm so good with Argus Tech and why I wear this jacket. They even let me wear it at work, which you've probably noticed. Most people are cool with it, but a lot of them claim favoritism. Not everybody is the son of an Argus legend, after all. Wait, a legend? Does that mean his father created the AI? Something like that, yeah. He pioneered the drone technology that I specialize in. Hence the whole following in his footsteps thing. He smiles and tugs at the collar of his jacket. But I gotta say, he looked way cooler in this than I do. Uh, but enough of that. I didn't mean to get off track. It's wild how cleaning my jacket brought back all those memories. But I guess that's the power of a sentimental object, eh? Hmm, it's an object of power. I know it. There is a real reason why I brought you here, though. Part of that reason is... You're just the one I trust the most. And a lot is going on right now. So you might... 
get caught up in things beyond your control. Yeah, great. More than you already have, of course. I just wanted to make sure that you're doing all right. Caught up in it more? That sounds a little worrying. Oh, I didn't mean to make you worry. I was actually trying to do the opposite. Just wanted to remind you that you're safe at my side. So no matter what happens or what you learn, I'm here for you. No matter what I learn? That's a weird thing to say. But I guess it makes sense now that he's opening up to me. I know more about him than I ever did before, and I'm sure there's a lot left. I'm tempted to ask him about the drones and those briefcases. However, I decide to remain silent. I don't want him to know what I saw. And if I trust him, then their purpose should become clear with time. Thanks, Isaac. I'm here for you too. Of course. Glad to know it's mutual. I'm really happy that you moved in with me. It's definitely made all of this a little easier. But I think I've said more than enough for now. No need to continue and get into all that sad stuff. No, not sad stuff. He then reaches out and places his hand in mine. You ready to get back outside, Delta? We're on the clock, and time is running out. No, push him on this bed and smooch him. I smell and squeeze his hand before we exit the room. It was time to bring this party to an end and ring in the new year. Also, we're going to do a safety save so that, you know, I don't have to go through that entire thing again. I mean, it's not bad. I'm not saying it's a bad scene. It's just like, yeah, I would have to hold the thing. Okay. Oh. Well, that was quick. I thought it was going to be a little longer than that. I guess we could keep going since it's the last one of the things. We make our way back outside, and the group is waiting for us. Almost immediately, we gather around together and start chanting. Ah, oh, you two lovebirds have fun. Absolutely. Wait, what? <laughs> Had to uh, end the year on a pretty high note, you know? Taylor winks. Anyway, I wanted to do something special for the finale. Especially since fourth midnight is actually our midnight. Okay, sorry, I had to have to reread that. Was it winks or blinks? Because why would Taylor's the rabbit? Why would he wink? Click, 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 click. Ah, uh, eh. wait, what? Had to, uh,. Taylor smirks. Okay. I guess my reading abilities with COVID and doing a couple of these today kind of uh, puts it down, me down. Anyway, I wanted to do something special for the finale. Especially since fourth midnight is actually our midnight. I uh, had to pull some strings, but I think you'll enjoy this. It's something that only I could have done. The drones are dropping briefcases full of money. Also, there's a ladder match. When you say that, I'm filled with anxiety. You gotta start giving me some more credit. Isaac nudges me with his shoulder. Delta, quick. Red or green? Pick your favorite. Uh, red. I uh, thought it was a pretty simple question. Oh, of course. I mean, green's a good color, but it's me. Uh, I'm gonna do purse, like, me color. Roger. He smiles and takes out his phone. Without saying anything, he just starts tapping away. Well, what's the surprise? Gotta say, I don't like the suspense. Mm -hmm. Hold on, hold on. He continues using his phone for about another minute. All right, everybody. Close your eyes. That isn't going to help with the suspense part. Please trust me. I worked on this for a week straight. Wow, such dedication. We all do as we're told and close our eyes. I have no idea what to expect, but my anticipation rises. Isaac certainly had to live up to some high expectations. Just another minute. I start to hear noises, buzzing and mechanical whirling. I recognize that noise anywhere. It's the sound of Vargas drones. Part of me knew this surprise would involve them, but I wouldn't tell the others. 
I feel like Isaac would hate me if he knew I went to his workshop. But it was a genuine mistake. I have to stop beating myself up over this stuff. Alright, open up. There's a willy in the sky. Open my eyes and my grid to a beautiful sight. Drones fly around the sky above the house, each with dazzling lights. They dance and sway in different formations. It's almost hypnotic. Isaac must have programmed this light show just for us. Well, what do you think? That's so cool. How do you pull this off? Eh, like I said, I had to pull some strings. But Argus ended up giving me the approval. Q. We stand there, watching the light show, in awe. Isaac steps aside and returns with a six pack of drinks. One more for the end of the year? Sure, I'm down. We all took a can and crack it open. The drones are such a mystifying sight, I can't take my eyes off them. And not only that, but it's truly a testament to Isaac's mastery of the tech. Here, check this out. He presses the button on his phone, and six drones fly above the rest. We look straight up, watching them against the backdrop of the twilight. The stars are slowly coming out, and the lights on the drones blend in. But soon after, the lights on them change color. They continue intricate movements, almost forming a rainbow. Blue for Isaac, pink for Clace, purple for Dante, orange for Taylor, white for Chiron, and red for me. So that's why he wanted to know. What a way to end the year. A constellation of our own. Just like you said. Right, Dante? Yeah, it's pretty cool. I could go without the implication that we're all dead. Oh, yeah. Hey, we all gotta go sometime. Imagine the adventures we'll get up to as we sail those stars. Thanks, Isaac. It means a lot that you'd embrace our ways like this. Not everybody shares our views on the night sky. A lot better than being six feet under, if you ask me. Yeah, that's why I want to be... Um put uh actually I had a dream about that last night now that I remember but uh, anyways uh burns my ashes put on some mountain somewhere yeah totally preferably in the north uh we all sip our drinks as the light show continues ready for the finale that wasn't it Isaac simply smirks and taps his phone once more the drones move into a large square formation and the lights turn off. Wait, it's almost midnight. As the partygoers start to count down, certain drones light up. He's using the lights to form a countdown timer. It's almost as if the sky itself is ringing the new year in with us. Ten. Nine. This isn't gonna... This is gonna go perfectly, right? Eight? Seven? Surely. Six? Five. Four. Three, two, one. Happy New Year! It's on. Everyone sits it together. Well, there we go. And holds up their drinks. Isaac hits a button on his phone, and the drones softly land. Hey, Delta, come here. Isaac smiles at me and holds out his hand. I place mine in his, and he looks up at the drones. In his other hand... He's still operating his phone. He presses a few more buttons on it, and takes me to the center of the yard. This part is special. Just for us. Hmm. He blushes as several drones return to the sky and start shifting around. Then they form a large heart in the sky, before bringing uh, themselves lower. Then the lights slowly, slowly shift to the most beautiful red. As weird as the last couple weeks have been, they've definitely been the best of my life. Mm hmm He puts his phone away and holds out his other hand. I hold them both tightly as we gaze into each other's eyes. I feel like my whole life led up to the moment we first met. Not online, but the first time I saw you at the airport. I guess this is how my friends feel when they met at the airport and all that stuff and 
and it felt like time stood still. I, I couldn't get over how pretty you were. It's frozen in my mind, it, as if that was the moment my life began. So we're either a girl or a femboy. Almost news and both of our eyes start to water. I wish that was my vision, so I could relive it every day. That one perfect moment where everything felt right. No uncertainty, no fright, just us. Yeah, though granted, you, it might, you know, put on, what is the thing, unsuspecting... I'll talk about You're the best thing that's ever happened to me, Delta. I'm so glad that you feel the same way. It makes me feel whole. Maybe for the first time in my life. He sniffles. No matter what I do, our bond will always be my greatest achievement. All I can hope for is that one day, I'll make you just as happy. You already have, Isaac. Well then, I'm glad to hear it. He slowly leans in for a kiss, and I do the same. Our lips lock together for the first time, under the crimson light of the drones. One of his hands raises up and softly strokes the side of my face. We stay like this for a while, until he finally pulls back. Thanks, Delta. Let's make this the best year of our lives. Yeah, the best. He smiles as we head back towards our friends, holding hands. Wow, and I'm the one who writes romance. Mm, I mean, I like romance. Shut up, Dante. You're ruining the moment. <laughs> I think I almost started to cry. That really made me happy, seeing the both of you so close. Hmm. Ah, it's nothing. I just spoke from the heart. It always knows what to say. We all exchanged glances and smiled at it one another. The year was over, and we hung on the precipice of a new beginning. It was a moment where anything seemed possible, as long as we stuck together. As if to ruin the perfect memory, though, we hear a collective gasp and shock. Well, we are at that 32-minute mark. Oh, I am gonna be a bastard. I mean, you could buy the game and go up to this point, or you could wait till tomorrow, I guess. Uh, bugger, was that the last one? Yeah, we got plenty of these spare now. So, the end of this Let's Play. Oh, bugger, now I... I'm also kind of reaching my personal limits, so... Hate to see it. So, please comment, because I like comments, tell me what you like, dislike, tips, tricks, otherwise. If you like my YouTube and would like to see it grow, then please like, subscribe, and check out their videos to help it grow. And please remember to spay new your animals to help control the pet population. <clears throat> Can I talk a bit better now? Okay, there's a bit more right there. But still kind of just like this. It's a, I guess it's easier. Uh, I do love romance stuff. I should probably go on my phone and start looking up dating apps or stuff. It's just so much effort for, you know, you know, and comment, like, subscribe, spade your apples. <sighs> Cup of tea time, I guess. Oh, yeah, and dinner time. And until next time, let's say, me, name of six, have come a webby. So thanks and see ya.